Astronautics, Aerospace and Astronautics describe the human effort in science, engineering and business to fly in the atmosphere of Earth and surrounding space. Aeronautics and aerospace organizations are engaged in research, designing, manufacture, operation and maintenance of aircrafts or spacecrafts. Aeronautical activities are very diverse, with multitude of commercial, industrial and military applications. It is equally interesting and exciting, after all it is the last frontier which is yet to be explored by human race. The exploration efforts have already been started. We invite you to join us for this exiting journey to the moon and beyond the stars, where sky is steeping step not the limit of our journey. As a engineer of this branch you will design, develop and manufacture the vehicles to make it possible. The Dash 8 will fly faster. Travel a third of the way around the world. With it together, they've flown the equivalent of 101,000 trips to the moon and back. As wings move through the air, they create an area of low pressure above and high pressure below, which creates lift. Is slanted or raked wing tips. These new wing tips force the vortices to form at the very end of the wings. Before the delivery of the aircraft is given to the operator, cabin is being designed as per the customer requirements and taste. It can be designed only for sitting or as per his luxury requirements. All this is being done by aeronautical engineers. She must undergo a series of grueling test flights before delivery. Test pilots push the plane to extremes that will never be endured by its passengers. Unless they work for Boeing. Math and science are profoundly important. And just having the, the basic understanding of those subjects is, uh, is pivotal for, for someone who's going to be, be, try to become an engineer or a scientist. It's not about necessarily the, you know, how well you did in those classes in math and science, but how well you apply them. and I realized uh, that was a fantastic combination of engineering and technical as well as artistic design and and was then I, I, I remembered very vividly uh, I decided I wanted to be the kind of person that could design aircraft like that. As an aircraft designer uh, I actually did get to work with uh, the people that designed the F-16 and uh, I learned directly from them. I learned so much. They helped me hone my skills as a designer uh, and become even more creative and they encouraged me and helped me and, and I, I just learned so much from them. Probably one of the most futuristic or advanced uh, unmanned aircraft uh, that, that I designed and worked on, which was uh, named after a diving seabird. And this was an aircraft that could uh, be launched and recovered from a submerged submarine. So very, very futuristic, very, uh, very unconventional. It really instilled within me some confidence or a lot of confidence that you could take ideas that seemed far out, seemed advanced, seemed futuristic, and prove that they, they could be done or could work. You know, I think service to the country is very important. I, I was very fortunate. I spent time in the Air Force. I got to fly. Uh, it was very important to me I, and, and an experience I'll never forget. But I think the service continues even in, in my career as a designer. I was involved early on in the F-35 program. That will uh, serve future warfighters, and I'm very proud of that. In terms of satisfaction for me, you know, when I when I finally became an aircraft designer uh, and, and was working on some of the most advanced aircraft of the time, that to me was just so satisfying. It was the culmination of my years as a, as a child and teenager, you know, striving to become a designer, dreaming of becoming a designer, working hard in school, 
in college and, uh, and then actually being in a place and, and, and getting paid to do something I loved. There's multiple types of aerospace engineers. There's aeronautical engineers, which are the engineers that focus on designing aircraft, things that fly in this atmosphere. And then there's aerospace or astronautical engineers that focus on spacecraft. There are aerospace engineers that focus solely on aerodynamics, how air flows over a surface. There's structural engineers that select what materials you're using, they determine what the inside of the aircraft looks like. There's also aerospace engineers that specifically focus on propulsion systems. They design the jet engines, they design rockets, they figure out how you get the aircraft from point A to point B. Like most about my job is that every day I can work on something different. And my degrees and my background allow me to create my own career and to work on things I really am interested in. Aerospace and en engineers work in the automotive industry. Aerospace engineers would design the shape of the car to allow for the airflow over the car to get you good efficiency. In my career, I've done everything from designing parts on cars, to designing aircraft engines, to designing morphine aircraft. Morphine aircraft design is aircraft that can change shape during flight, which is the tricky part to get an additional performance. Electronic systems, computer, mechanical systems, and control systems combine to create Mechatronics, the high-tech career for the future. Today's manufacturing is clean, high-tech, and growing, and industries need people who can use their brains as well as their hands. In today's industry, the employees we're looking for most are the ones that have both mechanical and electrical skills. Mechatronics combine these skills. Well, manufacturing today is uh, much different than it was 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, we're dealing with a lot of robotics today, uh, PLC programming, um, more computer-based uh, um, engineering, uh, more electronics engineering, more mechanical engineering. Mechatronic technicians are very important in today's industry. Uh, our equipment and processes require a diverse set of skills. We could have PLCs, computers, robots and visions all on one system. By going through mechatronics, you learn all of these skills at one time. Industry technicians need skills that cross a variety of boundaries to meet the needs of highly automated manufacturing in the 21st century. Working in maintenance has changed over the last few years and the days of a dirty environment and um, harsh working conditions are, are gone. And today it's more technical it's a cleaner environment. Um, people enjoy what they do. It's something that you can look forward to and get self satisfaction from. So it's clean and safe, and um, it's just a joy to work in an environment where you don't have to worry about getting hurt all the time. Mechatronics professionals have been cross trained in mechanical, instrumentation, electronic, robotics, computer components, and control systems to provide comprehensive solutions for engineering applications. These integrated skills can be applied to a variety of jobs, which means students earning a mechatronics degree will have a very bright career future. Research shows that by 2012, over 90% of jobs will require some training beyond high school. Most will require at least a two-year associate degree, and career opportunities in fields like mechatronics are forecasted to be higher than average. Tomorrow's industry will use more automated equipment, and highly skilled technicians will be needed to keep things running. Businesses and industries need graduates with mechatronic skills and problem-solving abilities. If you like to use your mind and your hands to see how things are made and how they work, mechatronics may be a career for you. The Indian aviation industry has shown a continuous growth in recent years. Numbers of international and domestic aircraft have increased by 15%. Growths of passenger and cargo airline 
have increased by nearly 10% over the last few years. Air traffic has increased by 33% by 2007. Over 135 aircrafts have been added in the last two years. Every year, the job prospect in aviation industry is rising very high. The School of Aeronautics was established in 1992 and since then we are into providing world-class aviation education in various emerging disciplines. The School of Aeronautics is run under the HS of Laxmi Narain Verma Memorial Society. Just 110 kilometers away from Delhi, on Delhi Jaipur Highway, an additional campus has been established at growing township of Nimrana in Alva district of Rajasthan. The functional and technical infrastructure is operational on sprawling five acres campus, set in serene environment of the Ara Valley mountain range. It's one of the largest campus in India for aviation courses. College is reputed for its employable manpower. School of Aeronautics is the only aviation school in India which has 52-seater uncut two Fokker Friendship aircrafts, which are popularly known as F-27, stationed at its Nibrana campus. School of Aeronautics, Niamrana, one of the premier institute in aviation, provides a platform and environment for open discussions and interaction between the faculty and students and is designed to ignite and serve the urge to explore and learn beyond boundaries. This would enable the students to discover, nurture and expand their individual talents, skills and interests so that they emerge as leaders in path breakers wherever they go. School of Aeronautics is approved by All India Council for Technical Education and affiliated to Rajasthan Technical University for BTEC courses. It's also approved by Director General of Civil Aviation and licensed by European Aviation Safety Agency for Aircraft Maintenance Engineering. Various courses run by School of Aeronautics Arbitec Aeronautics, in which specialization in aerospace, pure aeronautics and aircraft maintenance are available. In addition to this BTEC, Metrotronics and Aircraft Maintenance Engineering is also available. Practical training is an essential part of any engineering course. The Institute has a well-equipped workshops to impart practical training to students. The laboratories include Aircraft Electrical System Lab, Aircraft Instrument System Lab, Radio Navigation System Lab, Airframe System Lab, Aero Engine Lab, Aerodynamics Lab which houses a subsonic wind tunnel for aerodynamics and aircraft design related practicals. In addition to these advanced aircraft labs, basic labs like electronics, basic electrical, physics, chemistry, general workshop etc. are very well developed in college. Simulation of aircraft engine testing is done on test bench which has been designed as per the actual testing of engines on aircraft. Avionics lab are well equipped with the basic as well as state-of-the-art technology radio communication and navigation equipments. Other significant equipments worth mentioning are radar system, automatic distance finding system, instrument landing system, GS and marker system. The highlight of the lab is an electrostatic device safe workstation. Mock-ups of all the instruments and electrical equipments of aircraft systems are available. Once the students have cleared their basics in well-equipped labs, they are taken on aircraft for actual simulation and testing of various aircraft systems. Under the able guidance of well-qualified faculty and instructors, students get ample opportunity to learn theoretical as well as practical knowledge about the minute details of the total mechanism of the aircrafts. In order to develop the skills of students, which is very important part of engineering students are given projects in every semester. In addition to the aircraft related labs, we have other labs in the college like material testing, strength of material, fluid mechanics, engineering drawing, language and computer lab. Our computer labs are well designed for entry level as well as advanced computing. I would take this opportunity to inform you that we have two aircrafts with which we are having 
extraordinary avionics equipments to impart practical training to our students. Rather, we wish to achieve our goals by inculcating this knowledge in our students by the qualified faculty members which we have with us. We have all the sophisticated and extraordinary labs which will definitely help in a great way to impart knowledge to our students. We'll definitely achieve this challenge and rather we promise you that we... School of Aeronautics has state-of-the-art, air-conditioned classrooms equipped with audio-visual facility. Health Center provides campus students diagnosis and treatment for a variety of illnesses and injuries. The college's physical recreation and sports facilities offer an exciting range of sporting opportunities for both students and staff. Physical recreation and sports facilities like yoga, tennis, badminton, gymnasium etc. are being provided to the students. Hostel is spacious, beautiful and well maintained. Fully Wi-Fi hostels are on sharing basis, separate for both boys and girls. There is a provision of room with air conditioner which is optional for students. All the necessary stationery, accessories, refreshments etc. can be procured from the departmental store on within the campus. Many leading banks also provide ATM and banking facilities within close proximity to the campus. Guest room facility for parents is available. Students and staff members are awarded for their notable performances in various fields during College Annual Day function. College Annual Day functions are organized every year in the month of October, which is one of the biggest gala events in the campus. Students and faculty from different colleges are invited in this event. Students' tour and excursions are organized to various places in India. In order to develop various fundamental values, Sanska, various religious activities are organized in campus. Transport facilities for students are available. Our students are placed in approximately 200 plus companies, with an average placement rate of 80 to 85 percent. Starting packages varies from 3 to 7 lakh per annum. Hello friends, let me introduce myself. I am Wing Commander Dr. Professor V.S. Bajpay. I am Principal of the School of Aeronautics, Nimrana. Just now you have seen a very inspiring film. And after seeing this, I am sure you may like to know more about it. The first thing, as far as the aeronautics is concerned, it is a developing field, at least in our country, but it is developing very fast. Since last five years it has been developing by a speed of about 15 percent and uh, the employment probability in this field has grown like anything and it will carry on growing because our Prime Minister Mr. Modi is placing a great emphasis upon Indianizing everything. But till now we have been purchasing all the aircraft, missile and all our uh, systems from abroad but now he says make in India, made in India and once you make it in India you are going to get employment. He also says that this money which we are sending to other countries for purchasing equipment and machinery will be spent in this country. And when that money is spent in this country, believe me, there are going to be plenty of job opportunities for you. In our school, that is School of Aeronautics, we offer two most cutting edge technology branches, that is Mechatronics and Aeronautics. In Aeronautics also, we are probably the only uh, institution in this country which offers a specialization in aerospace, in aircraft maintenance engineering and also aeronautics which is a very very rare thing at the graduate level. So if you join our institution in aeronautical engineering not only that you have great job, uh, job opportunities but also a chance to specialize in a particular branch which you love. You may love space, you may love aeronautics, you may love maintaining aircraft. So everything is available with us. Now next branch is mechatronics. Mechatronics is nothing but combination of mechanical engineering and electronics engineering, computer engineering, robotics and you call it anything which is cutting edge is involved with the mechatronics. So if you do your BTEC in this branch, you are once again going to have fantastic amount of job opportunities. Tell you one thing, as you have seen in the film, that we have got great labs, we have got fantastic teachers. 
Why? They are fantastic because, I mean, not only that, that they are experienced persons like me, but they are also very young people who have just done their MTECs and PhDs from various institutions. Uh, just now I told you, mechatronics is a branch which involves many other branches, cutting, which deal with the cutting edge technologies. Therefore, the job prospects in mechatronics are much more than the core branches like mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, electrical engineering. Therefore, once again, let me assure you from my experience of almost 40 plus years that you are going to get good uh, placements because I, uh, it is, uh, you will be very happy to know that in aeronautical engineering, we, our placement has always been above 80%. Therefore, mechatronics, which is just uh, coming out of its uh, limbo, will have much better placement than 80% also. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, come and join my college. Well, that is the place where you will make your life and also make your parents very, very, very happy. Thank you. Hello, friends. As you have seen our video in which we have shown you all of our infrastructure, our lab facilities, we have told you why you should choose aeronautical. We have told you why you, why you should choose mechatronics. And by now, you must have decided for which branch you should go for. And I assure you, to choose any of the branches, either aeronautical, AME, or mechatronics, your job placements and job futures are very bright in, this, in these particular lines. And in this institution, in addition to providing you placement, we also give you training for your entrepreneurship so that you can do something of your own, which is the need of the country and the need for the hour, where instead of becoming an employee, you can become an employer and help in the development of the nation. I assure you my full support throughout your studies and after your studies, and I welcome you all in this particular issue. Thank you. For admission into School of Aeronautics, entrance tests will be conducted at various centers throughout country. For details, log on to www.soenicamrana.com. Thanks for your patience and support. Looking forward to see you soon. Best of luck for your board exams.